We're doing the Vintage Cube, guys. <clears throat> What's going on? I'm going to take this channel. That seems like a good card. Sometimes when you're left at home alone for too long, the weirdest shit happens. Kurt got me a new webcam, so now I have double webcams. <clears throat> I don't need two, but they're both set up right now, so. So I can just pop this guy up and then look. Franco Vision. Oh, Ceaseless? Ulamog Ceaseless with, with Chanel? Mm. I'm in. I'm in. Easy picks. Easy game, easy life, my dudes. <clears throat> Ah, uh, I mean, Mirror Battlesphere is actually probably the pick we got channel. I'm I'm okay with that. <coughs> I could probably let's let's lower these these camera settings just just a scotch. Uh, is gamma too high? Maybe. Let's go to fifty brightness. I feel really bright. I guess that's good though. Saturation still feels real high. I feel like I'm I'm all who made the red man red over here. That's good. I think that's great. Those are some good looking Colares. <clears throat> what up, Grandma? Oh, Tooth and Nail? Our first picks are channel, Mirror Rattlesfield, Rolemong, and Tooth and Nail. Boy, they're setting us up. Someone set us up with the up the bomb. Right, Christopher? <clears throat> oh, Kozilek? Man, we're going deep. Bobby, doing all right. Doing all right. I'm a, I have a cold. Not to be confused with the coronavirus. And hopefully it'll be gone in the next day or so. That'd be great. I'm going to take Kozilek Butchie. I like Corsair and I like Devoted Druid, but I'd rather make sure we have enough colorless creatures uh, to make Channel worth it. You can do magic. Do, do, do. Progenitus. It's probably just basalt monolith here. Black Tuts? I don't even know what that is. You have my elder? Not super impressive. Kitchen Finks. It's okay. Toots? What's going on here? That's farts. Got him. Rock 
working your body right. Oh, something happened. Oh, oh wow. I have no idea why it did that. Well, that's wild. Okay. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's transform, copy, transform. Nope, don't like that. All right, well, I guess I'll just take nature's claim for the side bizzle. I don't know why it got all big all of a sudden. <coughs> it is what it is. That was weird. Everybody. Orzhov Signet. Where's the green creatures? I mean, I think Orzhov Signet is still the best pick here. It's still ramp. Badlands. Screw us throwing wood, 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 wild wood is a green creature, I guess. Savannah? Alright, we're just taking all the lands, I guess. All right. <clears throat> I don't think Wilderness Reclamation is any good here, but... Oh, Courser came back? Oh, wow. Oh, now I'm feeling real good. I got a little man over here. He's been feeling real sick. Oh, we got Channel Banefire, boys. Time walk? Oh, biscuits. I mean, I'm definitely taking time walk. The only green cards are these two. Blue green it is, my dudes. Not even a hard pick. Oh, and then I was gone. Oh, bo 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 bo. Do 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 do. Oh wow. Oh Jesus. Fucking wild, man. I think we need an Elvish Mystic here. Oh, actually, we are blue-green, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get our head in that game. Another Ulamog? I think our channel and... God, we just take it? We have Tooth and Nail. Finale, I don't hate. <clears throat> Finale's got to be better than... Skull Clamp's decent, I just don't think, like... Like, if we already have a mere Battle Sphere in play, we're probably already going to be winning. I think Finale's just better. It gets more... Wow, Grim Monolith. Okay. So apparently we're not playing green creatures, we're just playing Artifact Ramp. That's interesting. If only Metalworker countered colorless cards. I'll take a Garrick. Emrakul. <clears throat> oh, boy. 
Wow, this is a lot of Eldrazi. We've literally almost had all of them. We actually had the Elder Ulamog too. That might be all of them. Go, go, Power Rangers! Bear, 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 bear. Go, go, Eldrazi Titans! Uh, I have not played Doom Eternal yet, but I think it looks fantastic, and it's gotten really good reviews. I'd have to play through the first one. Tiger Nate, keep going, you'll get it. I believe in you. Thank you. Is my internet still alive? Gamma set with the resub. Thank you so much, my dude. Really appreciate you. You're the greatest. I'm gonna take Phantasmal Image here. <clears throat> we don't have a single ramp mana creature here, which is pretty hilarious. Nah, just never gonna type again. That's fair. That's a reasonable alternative. Oh, a Shardless Agent actually seems great. So far. I mean, like, we don't have any weird counter spells or anything. Look at these three fat daddies. Eureka seems real interesting here. Oh, man, oh man. Oh no, finale, it's... No, no, no. You get to search, but you don't get to... Uh, you can't put two things into play. You can just search both places. I also thought that. The wording is very weird. I, I was like, wait, you can get two things? You can search your library and your graveyard for a thing? Is it doing that thing where it speed picks again? Like 16, 15. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, looks like it's fine there. Take Tasker. 12, 11, 9, 8, 7. Six. It's pretty surprising we haven't seen a single... <clears throat> I mean, we've seen them. They're just not really... Uh... Like, the mana creatures are not very prevalent here. Which is kind of surprising. Mox Jet and Mana Crypt. All right. Uh, I think we're going for Mana Crypt. Mox Jet is colorless, but so is Mana Crypt. So. When you're off color, Tutor does get Channel. It also gets Time Walk. Yeah, all right. Mana Crypt it is. Now, someone's not blue. They get a Mox in their pack. They pass this Ancestor Recall. No. Too bad. Too bad. 
Rex Sage is very, very nice. Kodama's Reach is fine. I don't think we need an Ugin. We have all these guys. Plus, we have... Oh, David, what up, my dude? We got Ugin, Rex Sage, or Kodama's Reach. I think those are the options. I think I like Kodama's Reach. Oh my god, a Land of War Elf. I never thought I'd see the day. I like the Psalm Simulacrum, but we're definitely taking Land of War Elf here. Good lord. Yeah, my problem with Ugin is that we already have Tooth and Nail, Mirror Battle, Sphere, Kozilek, Ulamog, and Emrakul. I don't think we need another 7 plus mana card in our deck. Although, here's a Blightsteel. Noble Hierarch? Yes. Not even close. Noble Hierarch is the jam. Uh, this pack's meh. Maybe just Garrick because it's good with Eureka. And I don't think we can get Green Sun. We already have Finale. <clears throat> what do you say to someone who hasn't taken a shower? Eureka. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Ever got into a fight? I don't... No. No, I've never, never been like a, like a legit, legit fight where I've had to like punch somebody. Go, go, Power Rangers. <laughs> go, go, Power Rangers. Want to? No, Grandma. We good. We good. Eternal Witness. Show and tell? Oh, man. This is the one time I would even consider show and tell. Thank you. Also, Splinter Twin. Oh, some elf for 13 months. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome back. Bye, dude. Oh, man. Being, having a cold is rough. I'm going to take Eternal Witness. Why can't any of these be blue lands? I don't understand. I just can't get a blue land. Is that it? I just can't get a blue green. One blue green. One breeding pool or tropical island. I calls it fisticuffs. Yeah. I've never been in fisticuffs with someone before. <clears throat> go, go, Power Rangers. You mighty morphin Power Rangers. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a big Tudor fan. Like, we only have. We have like two cards that we can actually get with Tudor. Literal two cards. I, I guess three with Kodama's Reach. I can get Tooth and Nail, I guess, and Eureka if we play it. It's more than that, but it's not a lot. I, I don't think it's great. Gonna take Relic. Deceiver Exarch, you came back? You came back to me, Deceiver Exarch. Alright, so what are we cutting here? Chris. Chris. Christopher. I do have one of them fancy writing degrees.
Two cuts, huh? I'm gonna preordain. I think we just play this. I think we definitely have enough dudes to make it worthwhile. When someone is doing something and they say that they're not doing one of those things, when they're obviously doing that thing, what is it? That just sounds like lying. Oh, it's not talking about uh, being facetious. Facetious, F-A-C-E-T-I-O-U-S. Off color signet could get cut, I guess. We could also cut Elder and then play Mystical Tutor. If you guys are in, if you guys write it down for that. <clears throat> All right, thirteen three. <laughs> we also do have Kodama's Reach. None of our blue. We have three blue cards, and they're just oh five blue cards. Also, Agent here is nice because it doesn't uh, hit any like counter spells or anything. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Chris, I love you, man. You're my favorite, dude. I'm going to say 12-4 here. Jesus. All right, I have no idea how this deck's going to do. But that's how I feel about all of these cube drafts, my dude. <clears throat> Tom Lapille. I don't know if you guys remember Tom Lapille. He was a, uh, a a game designer for Magic for a long time. He said he said today on, on Twitter, uh, not Twitter, on uh, Facebook, he said, I feel like there are some folks in these vintage cube leagues that don't normally play vintage cube. And that's kind of in how I feel. We're like... I open like I get I open like channel and like I get all these big fat Eldrazi and then like my opponents like I see no, not not my opponent but like I don't get past any mana dorks and I'm just like oh this is strange okay so if we can draw like more of these guys I'm good people still use Facebook we talk on Facebook like every day I guess we talk on Messenger <laughs> um yeah this is fine we can turn to Eureka we can also turn to Finale for for two. <clears throat> and I guess we're just hoping they don't have more more big idiots in their hand. I mean, really, just hoping for Emrakul, right? Forest is not the ideal draw here. <sighs> do we just put? Do we just do it and put Ulamog into play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we'd have seven mana next turn. So we could actually finale as well. I mean, they have four cards, right? Like, I feel like it can't be that bad, right? It makes you... All right, whatever, man. We're here. We're not... We're, this isn't... Yep, that was pretty good. <laughs> Favorite moment of the Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon? It's a good one. It's probably when uh when he threw Exodia into the into the ocean. Into the ocean. <clears throat> All right. We just have to survive, right? Oh, they played their land instead of actually just shooting us? I guess they're going to crack the Bomi. B 
bow mat. I should probably be over here, actually. This is more like the center of the of the setup. Bow mat courier every day. I'm just gonna block Hazard right here. They didn't crack their little bow me? Oh, they did. They post combat cracked. They did it. <coughs> oh, that's a good one. No, sir, I don't like it. Don't don't lose. Heads. We lost the flip. Hmm. What does that do? I mean, we can finale for five, which is pretty decent. Is there a way to look at my deck? No, still, still no way to look at your deck, huh, Magic Online? That seems fun. No, I wish we had a Thrag Tusk. That would be balling. There is? Alright, let me know what it is. Yeah, viewing my sideboard doesn't really... Um... <clears throat> Let's see if we had any cool 5 drops that we regret not getting. Literally not one. Okay, so... Courser seems fine. If there's a land on top, then we can copy it, gain two life. There is. Oh, there's an Emrakul on the top. You know what? That does not do what we want it to do. Are we still dead? I don't know. Go block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Wait. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, exactly. Block, block. I think we have to attack, right? I think we're dead. <clears throat> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna assume death here. But we get to look at their deck. And we had a good time. The reason being, like, we have to try to at least win next turn with no cards in their library, but. Now they can activate this twice, so now we're probably dead. Two elbows before wrists. <laughs> you know, that's true. <clears throat> that's true. Yeah, this, this didn't seem like that difficult of a decision to make when I have no cards in hand. Yep, you figured it out. Yep. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. So block here, block here, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are two life shy. Cool. <laughs> yep, that's cool. 
That's super cool. <clears throat> That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's put... Kawhi, appreciate it, buddy. Glad you could join. Uh, let's put Tooth and Nail back. We got we got Kazi. <clears throat> Kazarino. I mean, we're going to 10 here. Probably 9, because they'll have Bomad Courier or Monastery Swift Spear on turn 1, like you do. And they did not... Do, do, do. Wow, fuck my life. Oh, God. Sometimes you just want to fucking die because they never don't have it. <clears throat> that was cool. Love it. Yeah, that's that's a gentleman. Yeah, if I have to watch either Big Bang Theory or How I Met Your Mother, it's definitely not Big Bang Theory. Probably How I Met Your Mother. They had Mana Tithe on turn one. That's great. It starts with an earthquake. Birds and snakes and airplanes. Lenny Bruce is not afraid. I'm tempted to just take the Rabble Master, to be quite honest. All right, let's see if this does anything. <clears throat> There's like three options. You take out Rabble Master, lose Oko. You turn the Rabble Master into a 3-3, three, three, or you turn your food into a 3-3. Three, three. Now they can just kill this, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then kill Oko too. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But we do get rid of the shrine, <clears throat> and we can use Garrick to kill Rabble Master next turn. Sure. Yep, I'm hitting F6, so please skip the turn.
We also have, actually, we have a. Uh, we can get Eternal Witness with Finale, which is interesting. If we get another land, we can actually go Eternal Witness Channel. Kozilek. <clears throat> it doesn't seem terrible. Thank you. Kawhi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Awesome, awesome. Yep. Okay, well. <clears throat> so we go to 10. I guess they're just killing us with this, right? So either way, we can search for something. Nothing great. So we're taking 10, we go to 8, they attack, they, yeah, they just kill us. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Um, Yep, pretty sure we're dead. This is a fun match. No, Mike tonight? No, at 3 a.m. Mike is Mike is asleep. Mike has also been sick, so I'm not risk I haven't been risking the um being in the same room as another person who is sick because <clears throat> Bobby, have a good night, buddy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's block here and we'll take eight. Presumably die to the shrine. Doesn't matter. We're going like one anyway. There's nothing we can do here. All right. Let's try again and uh, hopefully our opponent just won't have everything they need at every point. Know where the actual god damn it okay don't know why the match keeps disappearing but all right it's watching some sons of anarchy oh let's let's all right there we go <coughs> turn two shardless into eureka which is not bad with an eternal witness in hand Noble Hierarch. Grim Monolith. I'll take it. So we have six mana next turn. Another Eldrazi would be nice here. Courser of Crufix. Do you get to play this? Oh, dude, our opponent's name is Marshall Buttcliff. That's hilarious. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's fantastic. <clears throat> Marshall Buttcliff.
I mean, I'm assuming they're gonna take this, but then like. Hmm. They could have taken it this turn. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Apparently, Eureka into Emrakul is, uh, that's a thing. That's a thing we should be doing the whole time, guys. <coughs> what up, Crawdad? That's a good name. I like a good Crawdad. Oh, yeah. Turn two Shardless Agent hitting channel would be the absolute nuts. The nutter butters. The tits, as they say. Oh, turn two Oko's also. Not too shabby. Marshall Buttcliff. God, that's classic. Jesus, that's gasoline. I kind of like this because if we hit channel, it's just nuts, right? Actually, Mana Crypt ain't that terrible. <clears throat> Zealous Conscripts into the trash can. Hey, Tails never fails. Tails fucking failed. That's unbelievable to me. Tails, you suck. One, two, three. I'll go for you and me. Gonna not not do anything. Alright. That was fascinating. Did they miss a land drop? Oh, they did. Well, butter my biscuits. Guys, butter them. Butter the biscuits. Okay. Tails never fails? Tails never fails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Hmm. Let's play around uh we'll let's play around days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Battle sphere and it feels so good. <clears throat> Don't wrath of God me, I knew you would. All right, well, they need to hit a land. And they put Jace in the graveyard because they're like, oh, they hit their land. Here comes Wrath of God. Fucking cool. Never don't have the thing that you need in any given time when you need it. Doot, 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 doot. Channel? Eternal Witness. One, two. Three, four. What are we getting back? Uh, Charless Agent actually seems great here. Because here's the thing. like If we get like a Kodama's Reach, it's basically the same as hitting a, uh, a Noble Hierarch. But here we have the chance to hit Channel. <laughs> oh, love it. I love Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. that's That's just... Just amazing. You hate to see it is right. What does that saying even mean? Is that from? What's that from? Oh, Elyra Dawnbringer, huh? Tails never failed again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Huh. 
<clears throat> I'm just going to copy the Lyra here. Play a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't target my Lyra, bro. Oh, they got a Firebolt in the graveyard. Sad. I mean, they have to waste their turn using it, so that's okay. Finale. Finale gets us with a friggin' Shardless Agent. Wow. It's like, what are the odds, dude? Yep, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. I guess we're not gonna have six because we wanna crack this food. Crack that food! Uh, no blocks because I don't have a flying creature. And we're so good at this game. Land. Always. Time walk, you love to see it. Oh, theoretically, we could have held the uh, the phantasmal image to time walk again. I mean, if we hit a land off the top, it's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You gonna condemn or path one of these dudes? Oh, dang it! This guy's dead. Come on, don't do it. Yep. Oh! Wow. That's the extra land we needed. <clears throat> oh boy. Tails? It never fit. Oh, damn it, it failed. Uh, one, two, three, five. Still gonna play around days. Scoop them up! Create a food. That seems good. I had a debate with some friends once. Would it be too strong to play mo No, I don't think so. I actually wanted Shardless Agent and Baleful Strix in Modern. Marshall Buttcliffe. What a name. Let's see if they hit. I mean, I... Oh, they whiffed. And they conceded the game... No butt cliffs here, my dudes. This is a butt cliff free zone. Am I too big? I can't tell. What is this one? Okay, I guess we can leave that there. Looks like we made it. I'm keeping this hand because if we hit a channel, dude, or any any, any land is actually going to get us into the, the blue spills here. All right, well. Oh. Channel, channel, channel. Shut channel, up and take my money. Channel. One tiny bites book. <laughs> Carrot, you are my hero. <clears throat> I'm unhappy and I like your comments on the topic. What? And I, and I, what does that mean? Scissors? scissors? What does that mean? Oh, that's not a channel at all. We could go island. Oh, we could go island mystical tutor into channel. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like that. It's an old wound I'm mad about. What are you talking about? What's happening right now? What's happening right now? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Reverse mouth cam is oddly disconcerting. Yeah, I know. Is this one? It's really something. It's really, uh, it's work a. This game's over. Oh, 
Are they going to see what we do? Or are they just going to be like, God damn it. The energy story said the Eldrazi couldn't be killed with fire. And then sometime later, Shonda killed them with fire. Can you make me feel any better about that? I don't think so. I feel your pain though. And I understand why you would get, get upset about this lack of, uh, what do you call it? Consistency, you know? Don't turn around. Oh, oh. I don't think we need to play Battlesphere here, to be honest with you. I don't, we don't have to do anything because they conceded the game. I mean, they could have had, like, okay, so we cast Kozilek, right? We draw four, it sucks. But if they have, like, Oblivion Ring, they can Oblivion Ring our dude. But the problem is we take an extra turn. I added a little color to my face. I felt like I was too ghostly. Too ghostly. Also, I got a little cool stuff shirt on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool stuff. You might say that's cool stuff. <laughs> oh, Jesus. House of Shadow just messaged me. He's like, you're a weird guy, Ace. That's funny. All right, let's see what Mark posted. Oh, yes, I did see this. I did see this. <coughs> There's 13 types of counters in the set? Like, why? That's so confusing, dude. Come on. That's too many, man. Get it together. Oh, my hair's all... I'm all disheveled. Any sweet Sultai Pioneer brews? Not really, no. Oh boy, okay. It's worth keeping. I'm okay with it. A cycle that players have been asking us to make for over 10 years. That's really intriguing. I actually... I wonder, oh man, what could it be? Oh, next time we can go channel into Basalt Monolith. That's actually pretty sweet. I don't think anyone has been asking them to make Phyrexian mana. Especially, especially uh, for 10 years. Well, there's already 10 fetch lands, right? They're not, they're not, it's not like there's another... People haven't been asking them to make fetch lands for 10 years because they've both been replayed within the last 10 years. Right? The the regulars were in cons. The other ones were in... It says, it says asking us to make, not asking us to reprint. Which is a, which is a big distinction. I'm going to... As soon as I play Island, they're probably like, Oof! A dinosaur turtle? That's all I want. That's all I need. That's all I want. That's all I need. Whatever makes you happy. That's the freaking stuff that can you for no end. You know that song? You guys know? You know that song? Oh boy, this is a good one. This is a good one. We're well, gonna hit finale again. You ready? <clears throat> I'll tutor. What are we gonna get? Not Eureka. Maybe. Eh, let's time walk. I think time walk is just good enough. <sighs> Birds flying high. Oh, I like Time Walk copy, copy Courser. Oh God, they're doing something degenerate here. That's not very degenerate. You mean the 1999 classic What a Girl Wants by Christina Aguilera? 
That's the one, Christopher. That's the one. Oh, we have no cards in hand. So all we have to do is deal with their planeswalkers. Oh, all we have to do is play a land like a moron. Okay, that's good. I feel better about my Oh, we get to Oh, we get to do it again. Do it again. Work it. <clears throat> Man, so much man off the tippity top. <sighs> Channel into Battle Sphere. Not terrible. Vivian Reed just kills the Battle Sphere. That's terrible. Hmm. So many lands on the top. It's not great. <clears throat> Oh dear God! What are these? What are these warriors doing, man? That's incredible. <coughs> okay, hold on. We have to use sound. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can play this over here. Usually I can, but there's no pop-out window here. I'm gonna this is I'm gonna have to send this one to Katie. Okay, so what are we doing here? I don't know. We're gonna I don't wanna draw this next turn, but we don't only have a choice. God, I hate this Nissa so much. God, channel battlefield battlesphere still seems just seems bad. Like we also take seven. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five, six. Untap. <laughs> oh, God, do I just kill a thing? It seems bad. Whatever. I want the I want the back half of Garrick because I think the uh <clears throat> the wolves are a lot better. I was one one death touchers. Since they can make three threes, but play the forest. Yep, sort of fire and ice. Yikes. Oh, they can kill this, can't they? Artifact or enchantment? Yeah, that's rough. Yep. I guess they, we do get battles here for a turn, though. Me. Garrick. Both of these at Garrick. And this one at me. Yeah, that's fine. Why don't you take a Courser? That's weird. It's just a... It's a 2 4. All I have is a 2 1. <clears throat> no, I for sure wouldn't ignore Garrick. 1 1 Death Touch Wolves just like shuts down your entire. Your entire 3-3 three, three operation. Acidic slime. <laughs> Jesus.
Yep, never don't have everything they need. God. Oh, you got a Corsair crew fix? I got a Vivian. Oh, you got a... Doesn't matter. <laughs> What's the point of going over it? You guys were here. You saw it. You seen it. <clears throat> um, I'll keep this. This is an interesting hand. Turn one basalt monolith seems pretty spicy. This is also seven mana. Seven men on turn two. That's pretty good. Should have said tails. Guys, tails never fails. Everybody knows that. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need like two more lands. Oh, we can also just tooth and nail and then Eureka the cards that are. I don't know if I want to give them the chance. Like, they have a bunch of Planeswalkers, though. Eureka seems rough. The Moochel's Nug. Oh, man, the Moochel's Nug is a pretty good compliment. Tails never fails, guys. We all know that. Hmm. One, two. I just don't want to play that. Like, oh, what if we go Tooth and Nail for fur? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Oh no, I don't want to I don't want to use the basalt monolith though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh, diet orange soda is like legit, dude. Are they going to have answers to, like, Emrakul Ulamog Battlesphere? Like, I don't know, man. Hmm. Or just wait. We just, like, wait for one more land, right? Like, I don't want to be crazy. Is it not crazy? Is it crazy just not put Battlesphere into play here? I don't know. Because if they get Basalt Monolith with, like, Oblivion Ring... Okay, that's that's fine. Land? <clears throat> For knowing exactly what a girl wants. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, we got a, it's double. Uh... And we can always eternal witness back the tooth and nail. And if we hit the land, we can actually go one, two, three, eternal witness, one, two, three, basalt monolith. Here comes the oblivion ring. Oh, here comes concession. Oh, 2-1 with the Ridiculous Channel Eureka deck. Not too shabby. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the buttons. There's buttons down below. A like button, a subscribe button. Just slam whichever one you feel like. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code down below. 20% off your first three months of any subscription. So while you're quarantined, play some Magic Online. Play some Pioneer Modern. And uh, hit those follow and subscribe buttons on Twitch, on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.